How's it going everyone? It's BriefOS here and welcome to Table View tutorial series here. Right. So at the end you have a look like this. You're gonna have the table view and you can see here each of the cells are different and it will correspond to another view controller. For example here, if I click on house iron, it will push to uh, a photo of the um who is this? Uh, Aunt Lisa I guess. Yeah, let's go back, maybe go to stock. Aya star of course and maybe it's got Targaryen. Oh sh um I, I I'm not supposed to click on this, it's a spoiler alert. <laughs> uh the point I'm trying to make here is that you can replace the icon, the name, the title, and the photo with any content you like. But in this series I'm just gonna try to make it simple as much as possible. So I'm just gonna add the link under the description below so you can pause the video now and go download it first. Alright, yeah, as you can see here you're gonna have the two folder here which is the background and icon so now you're ready to go I'm just gonna try to to close this first yeah I'm just gonna try to start from the scratch start with you guy again all right Xcode and um, create new project of course iOS single view application click next and I'm just gonna name it table view practice we don't need this three. Okay, let's go. Next, I'm just gonna add it. All right, now I'm set. So let's start first at the adding content that we just downloaded. So you're gonna go to assets here and drag these two in and that's it. Now we set with the asset, you will see here that we have background and icon so here we have the background and the icon right next let's go to the main storyboard here this is gonna be the place that we manipulate the application ui so yeah suppose that okay right so of course this series is about the table view so let's add table view Okay, I'm just gonna stretch it to fit the screen. And the next important thing is the constraint, because if you don't add constraints, uh, let's say your app will not be responsive, correspond to each different sizes of the screen. So we're gonna click at this and uh, click on reset to suggested constraints. And now, as you can see, your table view will be matched and you will be stressed to to fit the screen so that's it let's run it to see our table I look like I'm just gonna iPhone 7 here all right if nothing goes wrong you have a look like this just that's it now you just took the first step on adding table view to your application Alright, that's it for the first part and in the next part we'll be showing you how to prepare the table view cell and actually add it to our application. So see you in the next one. Peace.